Oh, look at that. Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Loading up my truck and getting prepared because a friend of mine has a new job and I want to celebrate it with him. But first, I'm going to prepare the rest of the ingredients. And I'm making yakitori beef rib steaks. And that needs a little explanation because I got these beautiful beef ribs. Absolutely gorgeous. But you might wonder, what does that have to do with yakitori? In the Netherlands, a lot of people think yakitori, chicken, the little skewers that you get with that beautiful, delicious sauce on top. Well, we're going to make something like that. Yakitori basically means grilled in Japan. So if it's grilled, it's yakitori. The sauce, it's yakitori sauce, is more of a westernized thing. But the ingredients are really Japanese and they really have a specific flavor that gives you that Japanese grilled food experience. So that's basically what we're going to do, but I'm going to do it with these beef ribs. As you might know, Japanese people love their beef because they have something called Wagyu. And that's a thing that they're really proud of. So quality beef in Japan is a big thing. And so you also want to take this into consideration when you're making this recipe. You want to make sure that you get the good quality stuff, the right intramuscular fat, because if you have beef ribs with a good amount of intramuscular fat, that's going to make these steaks more tender. This is one of the toughest pieces of meat on the cow that I can think of. First, I'm gonna cut the bones out. These are great to make a beef soup with or put in your beef stew. That's gonna add a lot of flavor to a lot of dishes. Even if you can't use it right now, just put these in the freezer. There'll be a time that you can use them. Now, the cool thing about this recipe is that this piece of meat is actually a very cheap piece of meat. I'm just gonna cut this silver skin off and then it's time to cut this beautiful piece of meat into steaks. I want to cut these as thin as possible because the thinner the piece of meat, the more tender it's going to appear to be. Because in reality, of course, it's not tender at all. It's the toughest cut. But slice it thin, marinate it, let it disintegrate a little bit, and it's going to become a lot more tender. Now that I got it all sliced up into these beautiful thin strips, and I call them beef rib steaks, I'm going to put them in a plastic bag. Now let's start working on that marinade. I'm going to fire up the side burner on my Napoleon grill, let the gas run for five seconds and then ignite. In the meantime, I'm going to chop fine some fresh garlic and some fresh ginger. Into the pan goes half a tablespoon of sesame oil. To that, I'm going to add the ginger and garlic. Once it's fried, I'm adding 300 milliliters of soy sauce, 150 milliliters of rice wine vinegar, five tablespoons of cane sugar. Let that simmer and reduce by half. I'll let the marinade cool down and now I'm going to take half of it and put it in a jar while running it through a sieve and making sure I get that garlic and ginger pieces out. And half of it I'm going to use to make a yakitori sauce and the other half I'm going to use for the marinade. So I have my big bag of beef rib steaks and to that I'm going to add the rest of that marinade. Close that Ziploc bag almost all the way, then press the air out, making sure that the marinade hits every last bit of meat. Massage it in, and then we're gonna let this sit in my cooler. And then I got my cool box, I'm gonna put it in so I can transport it to my friend's house. But before I do that, I'm gonna pack it with ice. To finish up my yakitori sauce, I'm gonna use some plum sauce. This is Japanese plum sauce and this stuff is absolutely freaking amazing. It is a sour, it is sweet and it gives any sauce a good amount of flavor. So I'm gonna add that in, close the lid and I'm gonna give this a good shake. That's another way of stirring basically. But now I'm transforming this marinade into a sauce. Let's do a quick taste test and see if it needs something else. Oh, that is amazing. I'm still getting a little bit of that bitter from that soy sauce. I want it a little sweeter, so I'm gonna add a little bit of honey. I already cooked some rice on the Napoleon, that beautiful dry rice that comes when you let it sit for at least 45 minutes. So that's actually perfect for us because we're gonna cook it at another location. Now I got my meat prepared. I got my sauce prepared. I got rice pre-cooked, ready to go. Basically, I wanna make a stir fry dish out of this all because I can't just show up at my friend's house with a piece of meat. If probably gonna only eat the meat, but hey, I wanna make a whole dish. So what I'm gonna do is chop up some carrots. I got some beans. 
some of these, which I need to get in with my meat because if these warm up, they go bad very, very easily. So that's going to go in there and we're going to take them out when they're ready to cook. Now the rest, of course, I want to prep up, make sure that I have everything ready to go while I'm there. So my carrots, I'm going to chop them julienne style. I'm going to take the caps off the green beans, cut them in half. And come on guys, eat your veggies. I know I just show you the meat, but you got to have something on the side, something healthy. Last things in, and as you can see, if you think strategically and you get prepared, then you only need a little bit of stuff. I got my grill, I got my food, I got my cutting board, I got my knife. So now let's go. So we're here, beautiful location, my friend's house, and he's still working inside, so I got plenty of time to prep everything, set everything up, so let's get started. And the first thing I wanna do when I'm on site is fire up my grill. I brought the Napoleon Kettle Pro because it's a very versatile grill and it's very portable. So I'm gonna take my grill grates off and load it up with charcoal. Of course, we want to fire it up. I got a couple of these fire starters. I'm going to place them in, light it up, and I'm going to wait until my charcoal is glowing hot. Then put the grill grate on, and now we can start cooking. I'm going to use a cast iron skillet because that's going to make it very easy for me. It allows me to retain the heat because the first thing that I want to do is fry the vegetables. I'm just going to place it on the grill, and the charcoal is going to make it nice and hot, but if I close the lid, I get a more even heat throughout that pan. A little bit of sunflower oil going in. And once the oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna add my vegetables. I'm starting with the thickest vegetables that I have and then work my way to the smallest vegetables that I have. That way you will end up with evenly cooked vegetables throughout. A few tablespoons of our homemade yakitori sauce. Stir it and our vegetables are done. I'm gonna bank all the vegetables to one side and the rest of the pan I'm gonna fill with my rice. Now I'm gonna close the lid and take it off the fire and let it rest. For the vegetables, I banked all the charcoal to one side and now for the grilling part, I need to spread it out. I want a more even heat throughout the grill. The beef rib steaks have been marinating for over two hours and turned a beautiful dark brown. And oh man, I wish you were here to smell this. That fat's gonna render out. It's gonna make these absolutely delicious and tender. I'm not grilling my steaks because I'm looking for a perfectly cooked inside. I'm not looking for my 52 degrees Celsius core temperature. I'm looking for crunchy on the outside and juicy on the inside. So this is my good friend, Mark. Hello. Congratulations, Mark, on your new job. Oh, thanks a lot. Okay. Please hold the pan. Is it, is it not too hot? This is doable for me, no problem. It's doable. Yeah, yeah. It's cast iron, you always gotta be a little yeah, careful. Yeah. And look, rice and veggies. Oh, that looks awesome, right? <laughs> oh, do you it's a more? bit mean, yeah, it's a bit mean. And now, this is the celebrational part. We're gonna load this up with beef ribs. Beef rib steaks, actually. Just say stop if you don't want no. to. <laughs> it's all for me then? <laughs> no, I can't imagine. We're, we're going to share it with your family, right? Okay, okay. It smells awesome. Well, I'm going to load up your plate anyway. Okay. And now I can start eating, right? No, no, no. no? Dude, we need sauce. Oh, I've okay. made a special yakitori sauce for you. Oh, really? So, okay. Oh, look at that. Woohoo! Yakitori sauce. Well, now we got to eat it, Mark. Okay, of course, you got to be the first one to try. Okay. I can just pick one. Okay. You can pick a piece of beef. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Dive into it. Let us know what you think about it. Mm. Is it good? That's mm. really awesome. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm. This, uh, this stuff is absolutely amazing. It's a lot better than satay. 
It's a lot better than Citroën. Yeah. You heard it from Mark. Me and Mark um, are gonna do another thing because there's something I didn't tell you. He has a pasture right there. So we're gonna drive this beautiful Indian's Gunner deer into the pasture and have some fun. Mm -hmm. 